So in this video, we're going to look at splitting the pack of reds when you're high on the blue like this. So a lot of people talk about Stephen Hendry actually inventing this shot. So I wouldn't say that Stephen Hendry invented actually going into the reds from the blue. But what he did do was he played the blue into the reds in a slightly different way. So what a lot of players would do is that they would just pop this blue and just stun directly into the reds and they'd flick off the pink either one side or the other and the white would run around the table. Now, what Stephen Hendry started doing is he started potting the blue and playing the blue with a lot of screw on it. So he would pot the blue, play it with a lot of screw, try and hit the pink, and then once the white hit the pink full in the face, it would stop right in the middle of the table and the white wouldn't end up running away to one of the cushions. So in this video, I'm going to look at some of the common mistakes that people make when they're playing these shots, and then we're going to look at exactly what spin we're using and how to go about playing them correctly. Right, so the first common mistake that people are going to make when they play these shots is they're actually going to hit the ball too hard. So again, it's one of those shots where we're potting the blue, we're going into the reds, and we think to ourselves, right, we need maximum power, and we need to really hit the white hard and try and smash into all the reds to get the reds open. But I think that's a bit of a common mistake, because what actually happens with a lot of players is they end up losing a bit of control on the shot, they maybe miss the pot, or they just send the white into the wrong area, and the shot's just all a little bit out of control. So what we actually need to do on a shot like this is just back off the power slightly and just have that little bit more control. So a lot of people, you will see, this is the first mistake, that they get down to play a shot like this, and then they just hit, hit, the, hit the ball a little bit too hard like that. So you can see I have got the split there, but the white has come all the way back up the table and it just looked like I was lacking a little bit of extra control that I needed on that shot. Right, so I've set the reds back up again now into that little triangle, and we're in the same position on the blue. Just like in other videos, I've marked a little spot on the table here so that I can keep setting the white up in exactly the same place. Now, the specific position that you put this white isn't that important. As long as you've got a high angle on this blue, that's all that really matters. So whatever angle you choose, pick an angle where you've got enough angle so that you can pop the blue and get into the reds and then just make a little chalk mark on the table and then just keep putting the white back in the same place. Now, the second common problem I see on these shots is that people lift their head and they look up to see what the white's doing. So we're potting the blue, we're moving the white into the pack of reds at pace. So it's very common that players quickly look up off the shot to see what's happening with the white ball. So the second common mistake is that. So let's have a look what that looks like. So I'll be going to pot this blue and then I'm more concerned about what the white's doing. And I've looked up and I've actually missed the blue there. I've overcut the blue because I was too concerned with watching the white and seeing what that was doing. So I've set the reds up for a third time here and now we're gonna play the shot in the proper way. So we've seen that the two common faults are hitting the ball too hard and then lifting the head up to see what the white ball's doing down the table. So we're going to approach this shot now in the proper way. So we're going to stand behind the line of the shot and make sure we line up the shot properly. We're going to do our walking, then we're going to do our feathers and get ready to play the shot and make sure that our aiming's correct and we're comfortable on the shot. We're going to make sure we don't play it too hard and then we're going to keep nice and still so that we're not lifting our head to see what the white's doing. Once we've picked the line on the blue, we're just going to let the white take care of itself. So let's have a look at one of those. So trying to keep nice and still on the shot. And you can see that time that I potted it, I tried to keep nice and still. The blue's gone in the middle of the pocket. I've left myself nicely on a red here, and I've got a nice little angle on the black then as well, and a nice chance to score some points. Now on this shot, I'm going to try and play it now a little bit more like Stephen Hendry used to play it. So on the previous shot that you just saw, I played the blue, and I actually played the blue into the pink with stun. So I was aiming from the centre of the white about a tip and a half down from the middle. So that's a stun shot, a potted the blue with stun into the pink. What Stephen Hendry used to do, and this is the difference in the way that he used to play this shot, is he used to pot the blue with lots of screw. So he would play maximum screw, pot the blue into the middle, and then try and arc the cue ball forwards, and then arc it into the pink, keeping the white in the middle of the table. Now, this is a much more complicated way of playing the shot because it involves a lot more timing and you're trying to get the white to do a little arc so that it hits the pink full still and then stays in the middle of the table. So I might need a couple of attempts at this. 
but I would say before you attempt to play in this way where you're holding the white in the middle of the table, just get used to doing the, the really important habits that we've talked about, which is staying nice and still on the shot and making sure you back off the power so that you can just be a little bit more accurate with your pot. Right, so let's have a go at playing it a bit like Stephen Hendry then. So you can see that time that I hit the pink full in the face and then also the white just managed to stay in the middle of the table. So instead of bouncing off all the reds and flying around the table, I got a nice full contact and then I suddenly killed all the pace of the white and it stayed nicely in the middle of the table and I've left myself a fantastic chance now to hopefully knock a few balls in. So hopefully now you've got some tips for when you're high on the blue like this and you're playing splits into the reds. So obviously the last thing you want to do is play a split into the reds, scatter the reds everywhere on the table and then miss the blue and leave your opponent an easy chance. So hopefully you've got some useful tips now, staying a bit stiller on the shot when you're playing these shots and backing off the power a little bit. And then if you get more comfortable with these shots then you can start thinking about playing the shot with a little bit of screw so that when you hit the pink you hold the white in the middle of the table. So as always if you enjoyed this video please give it a like. You can also now support the channel on Patreon so for anybody that wants to help support the channel and help me devote a little bit more time to making these coaching videos the link's in the description below. If you enjoy the videos please remember to subscribe as well. Thanks for watching. Cheers.